Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Taurus. Let's get straight into it, Taurus. Okay, brand new start. Wow. So you're actually finally taking that step. You're committed. You're going for it. You feel inspired. You feel really a lightness of spirit. This could take you down into the depths, but you're not at all fearful. That saying, I suppose, you know, you can take it religiously or not, but by the grace of God go I. In other words, you just got complete faith. Complete faith in the universe at this brand new start, and you've left so much behind. Taurus, we can... I say we because I'm a Taurus. We can hold on to so much stuff. Being a fixed sign, we even contend towards slight hoarding. Hoarding of emotions, holding our body. Holding. And we are doing the complete opposite at the moment. It's like we've got wings. You know, they say pigs can't fly. Well, I think bulls can at the moment. Let's go. A lot of people, I think, around you are just going, ah, who are you? <laughs> this is not what you normally do. What is going on here? <laughs> You're the stable one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. A lot of having to flee the scene. We're getting so tired of being beasts of burden and just getting... Everything ending up where we are the one the responsible for all the drama. We're not. Okay? We just want to be happy. We want to just be in our creative space, preferably out in the sunshine. We've had enough of the rain. These cards keep on coming out. Yes, so Taurus is eternal hermitage. Here we've been for quite some time. Very happy to sit, stay, think, be. We could have really not been going out very much or really contacting a lot of people. The decision that we've made has been wholly and solely on our own volition. I think at the time when we were making this decision, we really tried hard to to explain to people or to see if anybody could give us a hand. And I think we realised that if we want something done, it's up to us. Now, we know that. We've always known that. But I think this time was just like a bit of like the last straw. It's only so much a, a beast of burden can bear, you know. So we went, right, we're out of here whether it was emotionally, physically. We've, we've done all we can here. There's nothing else to do. It's now time to move into the next pasture, greener pastures, as, as you know, if you do the metaphor of a, a bull, well, they were, they'd move. They'd go with the seasons. So I think the seasons changed. And we're heading towards the sun, away from the misery. And we don't care if we have to do it alone. I mean, a bull's very happy to sit in the paddock by itself, isn't it? Just don't bring any drama to its door because <laughs> we all know what happens when they do that. <laughs> Could have been dealing with a female water sign here that drove you just, they weren't listening. You tried to help them, you really did. Didn't work. They they were going to do their thing anyway. If that's not the case, you really figured out that by keeping a lid on your emotions, it's really helped you. There's only so much you can advise people, and then it's up to them to make their own decisions. This is a Taurus sun sign or even moon sign. We tend to gather information and give sound, sturdy advice, and if it's not taken... You know, we can sort of feel out, you know, 
a little bit hurt, but at this time we're sort of like, no, okay, we gave our best here. We did it. We did what we could. And now it's time for other people to look after themselves. So where are we going? Where's this fool heading? I mean, the card, the fool, could be seen as someone that is like idiotic or something like that. But the way I sort of see this card here is the individual's carefree without the burdens. That's a big task we've been through to drop these burdens. These burdens could have been lifelong patterns that existed from childhood. Uranus being in our sign has been a total game changer. Yeah, we're leaving behind the drama, the overconsumption, the excess drinking, partying, excess anything really. I mean, we can be gluttonous, absolutely. We're quite known for it at times. And I think we're pulling it in. Or we've watched other people in our environment do stuff and we go, oh, wow, that's how we destroy. <laughs> that's how we are chained to this, this evilness that permeates this duality of life that we have here. It's good and evil. So it's our choice. Is this the lifestyle that we want? It's easy to go down that path. It's actually the easier path. It's not hard to end up having a couple too many drinks as a Taurus. It's not hard to have, you know, go a little bit hard. But it's also, I think, we've got to a stage where we know that if we're in this state, and this is pretty much the matrix, isn't it? Chained to, this, chained to all the vices, you know, fears, envies, all the sins. We're going, right, we're out of here. That's it. I see you, devil, and you're behind me now. Once you actually see the devil and how it works, or the negative energy, I mean, it's just a terminology, but how the negative energy permeates through your life. And to sit in contemplation about it, we've decided, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks, devil. That was fun. We played with you for a long time. We see you now. Not to say that we can't end up falling back down here, but I think we see, we see it now, we see it in the environment, we see it in ourselves, we see it in the people around us, and we're choosing the light. We are choosing to be inspiration in this world instead of just being part of the perpetual suffering. Any more advice for Taurus, please? Any more advice for Taurus? Yes. A lot of time in contemplation. You really did have to put yourself in some really awkward positions to see exactly what was going on and how to change your world. That's for sure. You could have been there for a very long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. Seven months, your whole life. Seven, I see, is a cycle. That's my own interpretation of a cycle. So that cycle's come to an end. <gasps> and doesn't it feel good? And if you're not there yet, I tell you what, it feels good. It feels like a, basically we've had a, the pack weight taken off our back. I literally feel like my shoulders are starting to slide down my back again. I don't have to look after all and sundry anymore. I'm just looking after number one for a little while. It's new. It's exciting. But we're coming at it very Taurian style. We're taking what we've learned. Don't put any more energy into the things of the past. Everything needs to be new and fresh at the moment. Everything needs to be focused on number one. I'm going to have a look and see if there's any love blocks happening here for Taurus. Wow, that keeps on coming out. The collective, everyone, gratitude. 
appreciate all that is within and around you. Appreciate all that is within and around you. Mother Nature's calling us back to them. That's our solace. Put our feet back on the ground. Realise that we are one of God's beautiful creations. We are the universe and the universe is us, the stardust inside us. We are meant to be here, every single one of us. We are part of this great, great play that's happening all around us, planets and people and energies. It's awe-inspiring once you actually realise. I actually love putting my feet on the earth and at night watching very slowly the stars move and then I get a sense of me being on the planet actually moving away from the stars. They're not moving, we are. That puts a whole new perspective onto your world when you realise the earth under your feet is, is we're very stable. We love Mother Earth to be nice and stable, but she's moving, man. So we have the ability to be able to move too. and We can move incredibly fast. I don't know how fast she's moving through in a spiral through the universe, but she's moving. So it's our time to move, Taurus. Let's do this. Let's see where we're moving to. Okay, we We've done a lot of the past. Where are we heading to? Let's have a look. Let's see what draws me. Yeah, let's go to standard deck here. Yeah. What are we moving into? Away from this devil, that's for sure. We see the devil now. And if not, you're seeing it in your life. Mm, yeah, we're always working. We're working on ourselves now. Wow, here we go, Taurus. Or working on ourselves. Wow. Yeah, look, here comes happiness. Here comes what we work on actually amounting to something. Here comes us moving the wheel in our favour. We're keeping a lid on our emotions. We're really starting to get the show on the road. But this, see the Queen of Cups, here she, she is again. If you are dealing with an individual water sign here, that the whole world's changing for this individual. This is us. Wow. We're actually finding happy. We've been looking for happy our whole lives. And we've been realising we've been looking for happy outside of ourselves in, you know, things of the flesh, that nice shiny new car, those new clothes, that extra drink, you know, a little bit extra dessert tonight, thanks, and, you know, maybe a bottle of wine to go with it. Hey, that's not unheard of. Absolutely, and plus more, you know, so we're deciding, no, sorry, actually, the only way we're going to get our life is sorted here is... Keep an eye on you and realise that that's present. But no, we're rising it because we're moving away from the drama. We are moving on. And if anybody's got any fight, we're letting them just take it. Take it somewhere else. Because the, the constant negative thoughts even have got us in a big state of confusion. And if people are bringing that sort of drama to us, well, that's what we've done. We've just gone, no, see you later. It's sort of like in a bit of an advanced fool. He's like, I'm taking all your five swords of drama and I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with it anymore. You guys want to keep on doing the fight constantly? Yeah, it's one way of seeing that card. But yes... Once again, I said, if you're dealing with a female or a, a water sign here, you, you're not putting up with that rubbish anymore. They have to go on their own path. They've got to do them. If this is you, standing in your power, okay? Boss, bossing up. Bossing up to a point where you're literally completely transforming your life for the better. You're not afraid of hard work, that's for sure, but now you're working on yourself. You're working on what you want. You're working on your future. 
you're working on keep keeping an eye on this devil energy in your life and making sure you know exactly, you know, you keep not getting to a point of inebriation where you don't remember what happened. All that sort of stuff. Because that's when things get bad. So it's a control. Taurus is seeing that their big heart is being smashed and bashed and overused. Off we go. Great adventure. Time to work on us. Time to work on keeping control. Time to work on absolutely adoring ourselves, but also making sure that whoever comes close to this heart is worthy of it. Could be a good a, a, a period of, of a loving on ourselves. You can't find the perfect, you know, or the, the, a great partner if you don't love on yourself first, you know. Take yourself on those dates. Just be care, careful, you know. Keep it all balanced. Remember what you've learned. All the drama that you, you know, all the advice. Make sure you listen to your own advice. Okay? Because happiness is coming. Here comes the sun. Here comes the good times. Don't engage with drama, as I said, and take this great leap. Our intuition is telling us now, now, now's the time to move from one paddock to another. Now's the time to lead. Now's the time to do it by yourself if you have to. Once you take that first step, everything else is just going to roll. It's the hardest thing to make that first step out the gate. Here we go. I really hope that helped. I really love you all and bye for now.